Let's get down to business. To the beat. The Hans. Um, guys, this, I just had to start with Mulan. It just seemed appropriate. Guys, we're moving. Check this out. We got like, well, our couch is still intact, but um, we're moving. So there's like just, there's just things everywhere in our beds. Not, it's, it's on the ground. Uh, but guys, we are moving tomorrow. Amanda and I are, and we're super excited. And guys, I'm talking to Nathaniel Solace today. I mean, come on. We're going to be talking about redefining high performance and a new era of high performance. So I am over the moon because Nathaniel is quickly becoming one of my besties. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I see that he's watching, so I'm going to probably get him on right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Let's see. I'm going to invite him right now. We'll see how this goes. So Nathaniel, what's up, Melinda? How you doing, girl? Melinda. So guys, so if you can hear me, because sometimes, I don't know why this is here, um, sometimes people can't hear me super well because um, of headphones and things, say hi um, and hit the love and the like button so that I know that you can actually hear me. Dylan, Ann, what's up, Ann? I like the little waving symbol emoji. Dylan Maxwell Blau. Is that how you say it? Blau? Blau. Um, let's add Nathaniel Salas. Let's see. So Nathaniel, the other thing you can do too is you can ask to uh, to be on this bad boy. It says I can't bring Nathaniel Salas on on at the moment. Why is that? <laughs> What's up, Timothy? What's up, Corey? Good to see you, man. Let's see. I'm gonna prove. Guys, we're gonna be talking about. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh, You know what I just realized? I think I have you in my headphones. Let's oh, see. Really? Yep, you're, you're in my headphones. Great. Right. You're in my earballs. Guys, this is Nathaniel Salas. Everybody, welcome the incredible Nathaniel Salas. Hey, everybody. So, <clears throat> I've probably known Nathaniel for maybe six months, maybe a year even. Um, he lives in the great, like the great state of Los Angeles. So, and... Um, yeah, Nathaniel's an incredible human, guys. He has a sweet mastermind that he's opened up the doors to. Um, and I don't forgive me, I don't remember the name of it because I think we were we were playing with names for a while. But um, he's doing that, and he's just basically one of the highest performing individuals that I know. And one of the things I love about high performance is that what's most important, I think, is actually living it out, right? Like not just talking about it, but being about it. And Nathaniel, um, with his gorgeous uh, ponytail, facial hair, all the things, really just embodies. Uh, there it is. There it is. Embodies high performance. So Nathaniel, thank you for joining me today, my friend. Uh, thank you for having me, bro. So glad to be here. Uh, it's awesome to uh, yeah, man. Get to hang out with your with your audience and your crew and. Do the thing. We just love doing this thing, right? Like, it's just we, easy. It's just fun. Yeah. It's easy. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's almost no, like we, was... we'd be a perfect people to start a podcast or something. Should we do that at some point? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. I, yeah, I think it, I'm, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It. Yeah. Guys, this is the announcement. As long as though the people watching right now. Like you guys gotta, you gotta give us the hearts. You gotta let us know you like this stuff. You gotta like, you gotta. We 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 do this for you. So, give us that. <laughs> give us that good. You know what's interesting? I just realized you can't heart your own video, which is a little sad. You know, in a way. I can heart Oliver it. Oliver Wade, thank you. What's up, Jeremy? I'm hearting it oh, right you now. Can heart it. Oh, hey, there it is. So so guys, actually, go ahead yeah, and so. um, for Nathaniel and I starting a podcast about high performance, about entrepreneurship, about um, wealth mindset, about relationship dynamics, about the unconscious mind, about we'll, we'll probably like talk about drugs, too. You know, that sounds fun. Um, probably lots of different things. Mm -hmm. um, and by drugs, I mean like nootropics yeah. and these types of things. Um, what would you want to call that? So if you were to listen to this podcast, guys, to Matthew and Nathaniel talk about drugs and sleep and stuff, what would you call that? 
<laughs> that's quite the like quite the marketing sell. What's up, wife? You coming in? Okay. Uh, Nathaniel and I are on a Facebook Live right now. Yeah. So, Nathaniel, I would love to hear. I would genuinely love for my people to get a sense of what brought you to doing high performance microdosing. Mm. Oh, I like that, Suzanne. Maybe we'll call it microdosing. Microdosing, which makes me think of like dozing off, like taking little yeah. naps throughout the day. I like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. That seems like high <clears throat> performance. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Amanda. That was beautiful. We got to have her. Yeah. That's, that's great. Just that's a good, let's that should be a recurring thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> so Nathaniel, tell me, tell me and my peeps more of like what's brought you on this journey. I know you have like an incredibly thriving YouTube channel, have an incredibly mm -hmm. thriving YouTube channel. So I just want to hear all the ways in which you're the coolest yeah. basically. Yeah. So what I love about it for the most part is that it's just logic. Like I'm here by, by the sake of logic, which is, <laughs> like you know like there's things i want to get done so great i want to be good at getting them done there's ways i want to feel consistently um or more so a, a capacity of an ability to feel consistently um and there's a there's a world around me that's crying for help and i would love to like take on that role of being able to do what i can to help it out you know, my journey honestly really starts like back in high school, just learning about simple facts about the way the world runs. And, yeah. you know, there's over a billion people who don't have access to drinking water or like normal um, uh, hygienic facilities and, and, and even just decent food and all these kinds of things. Yeah. And then there's people like us and everybody watching who's got a smartphone and Wi-Fi access and all these things. Yeah. And we, ha because we're, in the position we're in, we have to do something about it. Like we have mm. to make the world like this, this idea of a world that works for everyone that that's, I'm going to keep working towards that until I disappear, mm. you know? So the idea of high performance, honestly, just comes out of necessity where it's like, I want to be the best version of myself. I have to be the best version of myself consistently in order to do what I'm here to do. But thankfully that all that comes from this like selfish and selfless nature where it's like, it feels good to be high performance and it makes me happy and it makes me yeah. enjoy my life. And it also takes care of those around me and allows me to serve and allows me to run my business and allows me, you know, allows me to be the kind of person so that can make change and, and do that. Right. So it's honestly just came from like also, and just that the journey of stepping into entrepreneurship and realizing how lazy and addicted and, you know, and, and just disconnected and avoidant, I, I am at least, yeah. I can speak for me. That's where I was coming from by default, stepping yeah. into entrepreneurship, stepping into a personal development journey. That's why I think it's so great about this journey too, is we all have that moment where we like wake up and realize, man, I kind of suck at everything. <laughs> I don't, I don't feel good all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like, and everything is just crazy. Like it's just chaos. It's like this internal external chaos. And that's exactly what I, you know, was able to thankfully discover at a very, very young age and have just been super committed to that. You know, and my, and my entrepreneurial journey starts with like health and wellness at, at its foundation. My whole YouTube channel originally started talking about like nutrition and eat, basically eating fruits and vegetables <laughs> and just telling people to be healthier, pretty basic stuff. But I was so passionate about that. And, um, but it came from this like macro and micro cosm perspective as well where it's like if i want to make the world a better place i need to be a better place if i want the world to be a healthier place i need to be a healthier place Love you know that. like but again very basic stuff but then you look out at the world and it's like nobody's doing it so this high performance thing it's i'm excited because mm -hmm. it's like um and i'm also playing around with like different words for it and how do we really talk about this so it's not even just the idea of high performance already creates like higher meaning there's a lower which means there's separation, right. which means everyone who's not there yet, but wants that is going to feel judged or some sort of dissonant. How do like, how do we make this as available as possible for everybody? That's also where, it's, right. where, where I even started out with this, you know, cause it's yes. like, I, I, the moment I committed to my own health and wellness and ultimately perform, perf performance, <laughs> performance, <laughs> performance, like the ability to just show up and feel great and, you know, do what you need to get do and, 
and, and not get let yeah. off track, you know, so easily. It's like, I didn't have any friends or family who like were willing to meet me there. And that was so weird. Mm. You know, like people who didn't want to stop eating poison. Like, why, why, why don't you want to stop? Like, what's, yeah. why do I have to convince you to do that? That feels weird. Like, if we come back to logic, it's just like, hey, like, why wouldn't, like, nobody actually wants to eat poison. Yeah. But usually we don't know it's poison. And then once we realize it's poison, it's an addiction pattern, which is an emotional dynamic that we have to get through. And that's really hard to do, just hard to do. You know, and if you look at not just food and health, but every other aspect of our performance in our day-to-day life, it's like there's a lot of stuff we're doing that we don't realize is, is harming us. And then once we do realize it's harming us, we realize we're in, a, in an addictive loop. And then that's where, thankfully, coaches like you and me exist and, and programs and podcasts and all these things to like help people self-navigate and be able to break through those, those experiences. So yeah. that's, my, that's the sure. intro to my high-performance monologue. I'm going to stop I, myself there. <laughs> I literally want to marry you. You're so cool. <laughs> um, so you brought up something that really came to my mind is like, ooh, that's so juicy. Is like this metaphor of, so when I first started learning sales, uh, it came to me that sales is one of the most spiritual practices that we can embark on because mm-hmm. it brings up all of our stuff. Like you said, all of our thoughts about like our worthiness, all of our thoughts about money, all of our thoughts yeah. about so many things. And uh, you're bringing this broader spectrum to it of like entrepreneurship is one of the most spiritual journeys that we can go on because again there's nobody telling us you know we don't have mom and dad anymore being like hey so get in your seat to like right within the lines and like do this you know we're not given that structure and it the metaphor that came to my mind is it's almost like for those who are still working a nine to five and like wanting to transition if you've ever done a cleanse Like if you've ever done any kind of cleanse, like if you have like a juice cleanse or something, it's like your body's not being fed all the things that it's used to. And so it actually starts to like, kind of like throw a little bit of a temper tantrum, right? Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get a little, I have a super janky uh, tripod here trying to, (laughs) I'll buy you a new one, Nathaniel. I know you could probably buy yourself a new one. Well, gladly. I I, like you well, gladly you receive a, your gift of a tripod. <laughs> no, it's just the one. This one um, piece on it. Well, I plugged my phone in, and now it's now it's like weighted the wrong oh, way. Oh, I All get right. that. I don't need I to plug that. my phone in right now. Okay. Pardon okay. the interruption. You're fine. No, you're fine. But yeah, right. Like it just made me think about when we do. If anyone's ever done a cleanse, that it it does this this crazy thing where all of a sudden, yeah, your body goes through it in your nervous system goes through like this temper tantrum where it allows us to really see um, all the emotions, all the feelings, all the things that we've been ignoring or or really suppressing, repressing or trying to escape. Um, And I think, um, I think a nine to five can really um, lend itself to escaping or or suppressing Mm -hmm. or repressing feelings and all these things. So I, I like what we're talking about when we're talking about redefining high performance. Yeah. Like this idea that it doesn't have to be levels necessarily, but more just getting back to, and I think this is what you and I geek out on so much is like just getting back to like being a normal human, like mm-hmm. just like humaning. We are naturally really high well. Yeah. Yeah. Just like what's human really damn well. Um, unfortunately that's not super good marketing. Like I don't think people want to be a good human because they're like, I, I, I'm good. I got this. Yes. But yeah. They yeah. want they want better sex and more money and better sales energy and, and more confidence. Yeah, <laughs> which is great though. But again, all those things come from being a great human. Like we are naturally great at sex. We are naturally abundant. Right. We're naturally confident. We're naturally like in touch and connected and yeah. empowered. And yeah, the real high performance. It's too. like it all comes back to yeah, yeah. That whole other people side want better too, yeah. sleep, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, less yeah. stress, all of that. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that this is what the podcast is shaping into, right? It's like this idea of being the best human that we can possibly be. Yeah. And I just think it's really, really cool stuff. So I, so Nathaniel, I want to hear more about your, um, your mastermind. What are you doing with people? What's the premise of it? Dude. Oh my gosh. Like I want my, thanks for asking. No. Yeah. Yeah. And it just makes me happy because I've just been happy so much fun like dreaming 
picking it up and, and feeling into it and Oh, you cut out there for a second. I think we're back. We're back. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's called the Game Changer Mastermind. And, you know, you can kind of break that down already. You know, if you think about – it's a traditional mastermind. It's a six-month program. We're getting together as a group every single week. There's a four-day in-person retreat we do about halfway through. Um, and then there's, you know, one-on-one -on -one stuff they do with me. And then we bring on guests each month, people like you and other experts and homies that I know who can just come and deliver really amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, but the idea though, it's for game changers. It's for people who are here to change the game. So some sort of transfor transformational work, some sort of service you provide as a coach, you know, a healer, a consultant, a teacher, an expert, a guide, a influencer, whatever you may be. <clears throat> if it's your job to, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's your job to be at your best and then show up and help people become their best or their business, the best or their relationship, the best or their health, the best, whatever that is. I would so consider good. you a game changer and you're here to change the game, right? This game we're all playing that we're speaking into how like so many people are disconnected from this idea of high performance or just a well rounded and thriving lifestyle and all the systems included with that financial systems, relational systems, you know, vitality systems, whatever it might be. Um, so taking people through the six month journey and initially a lot of the people that I'm bringing in are at that point where they just haven't quite found their groove yet with really making the business stuff work. Like they have the skill sets, they have the passion, they're excited, they've had some clients and like they're making it happen. But it's just the idea of like running an online business, doing the social media, how to actually turn things into, you know, sales conversations and creating clients and charging good prices, having a good business yeah. model. But for those people who it's like, the, like if having recurring 5k or 10k or 20k months would just absolutely be a game changer for you like it's perfect for those people you know there's there's a lot of other coaches out there and people implementing certain systems and um <clears throat> a lot of automation and outsourcing and things and hiring people like once you're making 20 30 plus k a month that's great this is for the people before that who really just need to master like getting on facebook lives making content consistently, but making it also strategically where you're like, feel good expressing yourself. And it's not all just BS marketing, be it like, like just this consistent, like blah, 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 look what I do, blah, 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 look how cool I am, blah, 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 blah. You know, but like artistically expressing yourself, enjoying the process of like be running an online business. Yeah. But then that key piece of like, how do we translate it into clients and serving people and making good money like immediately? Because that's the thing most, so many people need. They spend, they'll spend the next year working on writing blogs and their podcasts and writing a book and making the coolest little graphics and doing all these things and trying to make it look cool on the outside and make up <laughs> for the fact that they're not just, you know, getting people in the door and like actually changing their life. And that can happen now, right? Like you could talk right. to someone, everyone watching this, if you're a coach or a, you know, service provider watching this, you need to get in the mindset that the moment you get off this video, there might be a new, message in your inbox of someone going hey i saw your stuff like super inspiring i'd love to talk about working with you like that's possible yeah i had that happen so, five five times in the last 10 days it's a, a totally like a, a record breaker right come but on it's, but it's like five times in the last 10 yeah. days of people who literally found me that day saw what i had going on online and just from that wrote me one of them literally wrote in all caps can i hire you <laughs> So good, man. Like, yeah. and that's possible for people. And it's, I want to get people Absolutely. to that sort of like magnetic state immediately, but also then know how to make good programs and how to actually enroll people in the programs. So they're able to yeah. get that now, get the clients in now, get the money in now so that they can then like take a breather and then make those high performance shifts. Cause it's like, you can't, we were talking about this. You can't have so many entrepreneurs get started and start to do well and their stress will scale with their business, mm, you, so right? right? Like you start to grow, you start to make more money, you start to make more things happen, but you don't have implemented the personal mastery like protocols so that you're building your capacity for, as, you know, with the business. So it's yeah. like, I wanna really help people like get the business like just kickstarted, get it going, get clients in, get the money in, and then take a breather so you're not stressing about money all the time and then focus yeah. on yourself, build up the personal systems like, 
feel good about how you like how you're showing up your energy levels, your, your focus levels, your attention levels, your communication skills on a day to day basis. And then, you know, think about the next steps and building out your email list and the, the podcast and writing the book and doing the events and all that kind of stuff. But just being like practical, I think in this industry, there's a lot of people selling really crazy big stuff and people buy into it because they ultimately do want those results. Who wouldn't want a million followers and a hundred thousand dollars a month coming in and the ability to like, you know, be your fully creative self. Great. Well, but let's start from like, you know, the steps that get you there and just making that simple and easy. And, um, so I'm super stoked bringing in 12 people and just like helping these game changers to like change the game they're currently playing so they can Mm -hmm. actually really step into that and have that lock in. And what I'm so excited to, um, like, to impart on people in this program is going back to, cause this hit me just in the last couple of years. When I first started my YouTube channel, I built 6,000 subscribers. I built this whole big brand in a couple months, like literally three months. I had 6,000 subscribers, a thousand plus videos or views per video. And people actively reaching out to me all the time saying, Hey, do you have any eBooks? Like, Hey, do you do like consulting? Like, can, do you do like sessions? Like, how can you, I need you to help me more. How do we do this? Mm-hmm. And I wasn't trying to do any of that. I didn't even know that was a thing like selling services online. I didn't know that existed. Mm-hmm. I was just making YouTube videos cause I'm like a 20 year old kid and just thought it was fun to do. And I wanted to help people cause I felt better and I was healthier and I was, you know? Yeah. Um, so coming back to when we get to that place again, where we don't really give a crap what everybody thinks. And we just come to that place of like our, our power being expressed and our excitement and our passion being expressed. Um, that's where all the magic happens. So I want to really help people like come back to that space while still like building the foundations of a empire, you know? Yeah. That's crazy. You just ended with that. That was the word that kept ringing true throughout the whole thing was foundation. Like you really are building the foundational pillars for, for a true business. And I think that, um, I just love how clear you are in that, Nathaniel. And for those of you who are watching or watching this on the replay, whether you're watching live or on replay, please do go check uh, Nathaniel out, especially if you're a solopreneur and you've been at it for like three to five years, maybe even a couple of years, and you're just like, eh, I've done a little bit, but can't quite figure this out. Definitely go check this dude out and what he's doing with Game Changers. Um, I just love it, man. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. And we have a podcast. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So for, for those of you watching, I would love to hear some recommendations. Um, comment below of who do you think would be really awesome for us to interview on our podcast. Like who would be some cool yeah. people to interview on our podcast? So It would be cool also to be, I would like to bring on a lot of surprising people, right? Because we could get like Tim Ferriss on there and like, yeah, of course, Tim Ferriss is high performance, mm-hmm. you know, and he's going to say all the stuff, you know, like all the stuff eat good food, get good sleep, you know, cold exposure, like, you know, relationship with your breath, like all the stuff we always hear. But I want to hear like, you know, like it's cool to see even like my girlfriend really inspires me because she, you know, she has her meditation practice and, you know, she like doesn't eat bad food and all that kind of stuff, but she doesn't have this list of like the 50 hacks you can do in every little thing. Like that hasn't even been part of her reality and she's more high performance than most people I know and more high performance than me. Most of that, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's also part of that demystification of it and this like new era and redefining it. Like you're saying, it's like, it's, it really is the simplest thing. And it also comes down to where a lot of my work, which is such a big deal. And Brooke, um, Kaylin, who just dropped in another absolutely amazing coach. Talk to her today or yesterday. Good. Yeah, she's yeah. a total rock star. One of my favorite people. Yeah, we met on, on Periscope Absolutely. years ago. She's a badass. Um, Periscope. Yeah. But this idea of like coming back to simplicity and it's like we're high performance in our natural state, although nobody's, you know, or most people aren't living in their natural state. Like we're not getting the sleep we need. We're not getting the nutrients we need. We're not getting the touch and the intimacy and the person to person connection that we need. You know, so it's hard not to, you know, I totally get people who are like high performance, whatever, you know, there's all these weird people who talk like whatever, this, man. Like, high performance, yeah, man, man. well, you don't understand, like, I, you know, to have things to do, and I'm tired, 
And I, yeah. did it. You know, I was just talking to someone recently who was like, man, I'm like, I'm about to like, uh, what did they say? Like, uh, I'm running out of steam, right? Like, I'm about to drop. I'm just about to drop on the floor. Like, I have all these calls today. I have all this stuff going on. And this is just my normal flow. And da 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 And like, yeah. there's so much to do. And I just feel so overwhelmed. And sometimes I'm not sure what to do next. And then I just kind of sit there. But then I get stressed out about just sitting there. Not to, you know, the whole thing is a stress and overwhelm. And I'm like, okay, cool. Have you meditated today? Have you been drinking water? Like, did you eat any food today? Have you gone outside today? Have you stretched at all for like five minutes? Have you moved your body? And they were like, no, none of that. And I'm like, dude, that's dude. what, that's what you're, you're not stressed about all these things you have to do. You're stressed because you haven't, you haven't honored your own capacity to handle all those things. And you haven't like right. put yourself in a position to do it, you know, right. and everybody, everybody listening, this is the thing though. And I always have to say this. It's like, people hear me say things like that and you have to assume and be prepared for a part of your mind to go, well, yeah, duh, just eat food and get good sleep and stretch. And yeah, duh, dude, come on. This is silly. Like this, I know this stuff, but are you actually doing it consistently? Doing it? Daily, yeah. consistently, yeah. daily, consistently, daily, non-negotiable. And there's like this level and I've met, I know maybe, I know a lot of amazing people, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of high performers, a lot of like visionaries, like people in the world that like category and like, like uh, the community we're a part of here in SoCal, like it's so incredible, so many amazing people. But I know maybe 20 people who are like in it, like in the pocket, meaning in, in the pocket, meaning like there's this level of presence. And yeah. one of my favorite definitions of mastery is when the same person shows up to every circumstance. Oh, it's so good. Right? I and I know that. maybe 20 people, I like to think myself included, and of course, I'm going to be the most judgmental of myself, and, and, you know, but, dude, I kick ass, and I'm consistent as fuck, especially, excuse me, pardon my language, I'm consistent as heck, especially my, heck. Per, my perception. My perception is so consistent. Yeah. Um, I don't get stressed. You know, like I experienced discomfort. I experienced challenging times. I experienced moments of like, dang, this needs way more of me than I think I have right now. But the key word is like, I think I have. And then there, that's where some magic can take place. That's always where like some sort of alchemy can take place. You know, it's so key. And I, you're one of those 20 people. And I know you have your own personal life too that I don't know about. But what's, But I know that even in your personal life, any challenges or a moment of, of like doubt or or uh feeling drained or overwhelmed or anything like that it's not the same as everybody else when they feel overwhelmed it's like there's this other quote too from this really amazing spiritual healer uh where he just says in one of his like songs i am empowered by everything and that's mm. and i and i know that's Love your that. mo and I know that's, yeah. and that's the MO for like a very small group of people. And I, I think part of redefining high performance, since everything comes from perception, how do we like instill that perception into everybody? Cause that's as high performance yeah. as it gets. How, how could everything somehow be serving you? How could everything somehow be empowering you, making you stronger, yeah. making you smarter, making you more capable? Um, that shit gets me excited. Clearly. Yeah. And Nathaniel, you Every t yeah, I just want to sing from the rooftops how awesome you are. Uh, I feel like maybe the name is Better Humaning. <laughs> or something good. like like it's actually really good, right? Yeah. And or or even something there, around you know. that. It's coming from that like or like how to human. How like to how human. How to, yeah, like a uh, uh, semicolon. For better sex, sales, and service. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nathaniel, this has been awesome. How do people find out more yeah. about you? Um, <laughs> they, they inquire. <laughs> yeah. Go I'm to sure Instagram. Tag, find me on Instagram. Yeah, go find me. Honestly, I do have to say I'm pretty awesome on Instagram stories. We have a lot of fun on there. So definitely go great. find me on Instagram. Do you have your uh, MySpace page up as well? Can we find you on MySpace? It's there. It's somewhere. I should probably. Really? <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I didn't delete it, so I imagine it's still there. 
Will you please post that today? I just <laughs> I want to see your MySpace. I don't think I, I ever find created it. a MySpace page. Yeah. So. Oh, I, dude, I was all over my. That's where I first learned marketing, right? I was in bands in high school. And, nice. um, you know, you have your band page and you can upload the music on there. And then you get to, like, design the background and the colors. And, and if you got into, like, coding, you can go in there and kind of, like, change the colors and the fonts and oh. have, little, like, have little moving GIFs in the background and stuff. And yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, MySpace That's was so great. Rad. Okay, so everybody check out Nathaniel on MySpace and uh, LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, sounds good. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Cool. Nathaniel, thank you so much. And uh, I'm so excited to keep doing this with you, man. And uh, yeah, huge hugs, man. Everybody have an incredible Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way through to Thursday of next week. And we'll just keep doing this. Yeah, and then just do that again, over and over again yeah, each week. Yeah, just keep yeah. doing that. Just be a better, <laughs> how to be a human. Uh, any like parting words, Nathaniel? Um, well, one, just so grateful for you, feeling really good, feeling super excited. Um, excited for the podcast because it's like we need to be able to do this for like a good two hours <laughs> at once, you know. And um, yeah, and just grateful for having me on. And anybody watching this who made it this far, thank you for being here and any replay viewers who made it this far like kudos to you yeah super awesome and just know that like i'll leave you with this you know just trying to stay relevant with this whole thing but this idea of like stepping into your next level of high performance like reducing the overwhelm and the stress in your life i've created a rule for myself and it's very simple and it's if when i go to think about something and it feels disempowering if it feels overwhelming if it feels stressful like thinking about what i got to do this week thinking about that project I got to finish, thinking about that conversation I have to have, thinking about those things I got to do. If they get me to a place of disempowerment, that's, that's the proof I need to know I'm thinking about it the wrong way. Ooh. And that there's a better way that's to good. think about it. Not that we should be avoiding feeling disempowered or uncomfortable, but we should just use that feeling as what it is, which is a signpost, right? Like a guide, right? A, a, a trigger that's saying, Hey, see how shitty you feel right now? Great. Oh, this is just a reminder yeah. that, like, there's something to be learned here. There's some sort of capacity to be expanded into. So every time I feel that way, I just acknowledge that that's what's happening. And that gives me room to, like, figure into other options. And it always works. So I just would love to leave you with that, that idea. It's like, if this is disempowering, if I feel overwhelmed, if I feel low performance, that's actually a gift that I feel that way because it's letting me know there's a better way. So I'm just going to open myself up to that and be open to that possibility and some good stuff will happen from there. So yeah. thanks for having me on, dude. I, I love so you and good. I love what we got going on here and it feels good to, to make it happen. So. so good. If you feel horrible, there's better things on the horizon. It should be a signpost of empowerment. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Good stuff. Thank you, Nathaniel Salas. You have a fantastic day. You too, and, dude. Uh, <laughs> Check in with you soon. Have a great day, everyone. All right, cool. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye.